great, baby. As is the tradition, the Lions will play the role of host this Thanksgiving, welcoming the Houston Texans to town, who picked up their third win last week, mostly thanks to Deshaun Watson. To the end zone. Touchdown! Watson had another stellar day of work last week, 344 yards, two scores, his yards per attempt over eight, his passer rating over 120. Watson nowhere to go. Throws the shoulder, and he takes it in! Watson single-handedly makes the Texans competitive no matter who they face. His ability to scramble out of trouble to extend plays may be unmatched at this point. Watson buys some time, throws to the end zone, and it's caught. Houston's passing offense is built around variety, but Brandon Cooks is Watson's top target usually. What a catch there, Brandon Cooks! And Will Fuller isn't too far behind. The two speedsters, the reason Houston's yards per catch average is so high. Gene Fuller comes right back with 22. That group faces a Detroit D that has not played the pass all that great this season. Who's got it down the sideline? But they are at least coming into this game off of one of their better performances, though it was against a rookie making his first start at the last minute. Throws an interception in the end zone. So what about when the Lions have the ball? Matthew Stafford has had his moments this season, but last week wasn't one of them. But for Matthew Stafford, not a tremendous first half. 5.4 yards per attempt, rating of 70, under 200 yards passing, all against a Panthers D that hadn't played most QBs all that well. Stafford is going to be sacked. The Lions offensive line played a role in Stafford's struggles too, allowing five sacks again to a team that went into that game near the bottom of the league in that stat. Gets away from Burns, but it's dropped by Zach Kirk. The Texans don't have an elite pass rush, but they picked up two sacks last week and are at least middle of the pack in getting to the QB. In trouble, and down he goes. But that's as good as it gets with the Texans' D, as no team ranks as low against both the pass and the run. Houston's season numbers against the ground game sitting near the bottom. The five, and he takes it in. That's why the Lions would love to get DeAndre Swift back from concussion protocol. Powering his way into the end zone, DeAndre Swift. Swift is averaging 4.7 a carry for the season and had back-to-back -back games with 10-plus carries before he got hurt, averaging over five a run across those two games. What a run by Swift. Swift. All right, the best thing about Turkey Day football, it's football on Turkey Day. Best thing about Lions games on Turkey Day, they usually happen before all your relatives show up. Best thing about the comments section, it's the perfect spot for your predictions and analysis. And the best thing about this point in the video is I stop talking and let you see who our panel is picking to win it. A mistake by the young quarterback gives the Lions an opportunity on second and four. It's Stafford who finds Marvin Jones Jr. Watson. Buy some time, throws to the end zone, and it's caught. Kiki Cutie.